our first writer to set the tone, to continue the tone of brilliance is Ian Espy. Thank you. I reached, I reached the dubious apex of my third grade bullying career when I was accused of killing Cooper, our class's cockatiel. My entire class noticed the bird's absence that morning when we came in, but we must have assumed it was temporary until Charlotte Vogelman asked Miss Jimenez when Cooper was coming back. He passed away, Miss Jimenez said. I don't remember if our teacher tried to explain Cooper's death to us or how the class reacted to the news. A few minutes after the announcement, the school secretary came knocking on the door of our classroom. She whispered something to Miss Jimenez, who pointed at me and asked me to step outside. Then the secretary led me down the hall to the principal's office, where I waited in silence on an old couch for Miss Baker to see me. Miss Baker didn't scare me. Her husband worked in my mom's department at Clemson University, and I'd seen her in a bathing suit when the department had its annual summer picnic, the pig pickings. Imagine a retirement home quinceanera, and that's basically the pig pickings. <laughs> All three of her daughters babysat me in succession, and I did what I could to drive each of them away, including vomiting on her younger youngest daughter's shoes when I first met her. For the most part, I can't control when and where I empty my stomach, but that one seemed strategic. Do you know why you're here, Miss Baker asked. I shook my head. Why do you think you're here? She spoke very softly, calm but cold. Over the course of the next hour, Miss Baker called in Miss Jimenez, Miss McDonald, and the after school care, aftercare teacher, Miss Kellerman. None of them explicitly accused me of killing Cooper, whom they apparently believed had been intentionally poisoned. But Miss Baker and my teachers seemed to think I was experiencing horrible guilt over Cooper's death, and they tried to use that to make me confess. Problem was, this time, I really didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I was the cause of bruises, scrapes, and even a concussion. I was behind intimidations, rough-ups, a few incidents of peeing in clogged sinks, and plenty of emotional distress. But I didn't poison Cooper. I'd like to say that I'm not mean anymore, that my bullying days are behind me, that the incident with Cooper was a new beginning for me, and after that, I really started to embody the principles of nonviolence and tolerance that Clemson Montessori's namesake, Maria Montessori, would have advocated. But that's not true. If you drew a graph of my meanness with meanness on the y-axis and time on the x-axis, it looked like a hockey stick, an exponential function. The curve would rise and rise until it had nowhere to go but down. Thank you.